Safeguarding means to protect another person's right to live and work in safety, free from abuse and harm. Safeguarding is everyone's responsibility. Safeguarding issues can arise anywhere. Imagine you're conducting a home fire safety visit, but you find a young child home alone. Or, perhaps when you attend an incident, you witness physical or emotional abuse towards a member of the family. Maybe, when carrying out a building inspection, you spot signs of a number of people sleeping in a single room. During a meeting, perhaps you hear something concerning during a conversation, or notice signs of harm on a colleague's arm. The Safeguarding Fire Standard has been introduced to help your service meet its legal and moral requirements. It will help your service ensure they are doing all they can to support safeguarding. The Safeguarding Professional Standards are at the root of your work within your prevention, protection and response agendas, reducing the risk of abuse, harm and neglect in your community and your organisation. It explains what they must and should do. And there is also some guidance and a self-assessment toolkit to help. Some of the things that a service must do. Have a designated safeguarding lead as a professional advisor. Use accredited trainers to provide safeguarding training. Educate, train and support all staff so they understand their safeguarding responsibilities. Work effectively with other services, partners and stakeholders to safeguard and promote the welfare of children, young people and adults at risk of harm. Some of the things a service should do. Use the NFCC safeguarding guidance for children, young people and adults and the self-assessment toolkit. Contribute to the continual improvement of safeguarding by sharing learning and experiences with colleagues such as the National Fire Chiefs Council Network of Safeguarding Leads. Safeguarding is a really important issue. This fire standard aims to help all services ensure its staff understand their responsibilities in making our community safer and mitigating the risks of harm. Safeguarding is everyone's responsibility. Make sure you understand what your service is doing about safeguarding and how best you can contribute to keeping people safe.